Okay, so here we go. We're at the Wiki Demo Auto Mode Overview. So now with this, we're going to look at exactly how the uh, train will navigate through the plan in auto mode. So if you see here, there's two icons which shows the, um, the power button and then this uh, little circular arrow, which is uh, auto mode. Now, whenever you want to run auto mode, you have to set the, the train up and or the locomotive up and then you uh, start the power and then you go click the uh, auto mode button once you click the auto mode button then it sets everything uh, up and then the next thing you have to do is a double click on the engine and then that's when it'll start so in that case you'd come in and you double click on this uh, that EO3 and then it will start everything going so now that's what you'll see in this, uh, the figure one is the initial setup. And then what's really key uh, or cool about this is you do kind of a drag and drop. So you can go to where you saw the your roster and just drag and drop whatever engine in and then uh, Rockwell will set it up and get it ready to go. So now here if we look in uh, the section two here, or not section two, but figure two, we can now see um, the setup or the initiation of the auto mode. So as soon as you double click, then what's happening is uh, Rock Rail will then go through, look at the routes, and then start the train going. Now here you see that EO3 in block one is now a destination. And now the train is moving. In this case, it's going to be all virtual. So as the train continues on, we look at figure three. Then it trips the sensor, the, in, uh, the entry sensor for block one. And then it shows that the EO3 locomotive is now in the block. Now, if you notice here at the bottom, the EO3 or the block three, or station three is now uh, the destination block. So that's where this particular uh, uh, route is taking uh, the EO3. So now if we scroll down here again, now we can see the um, uh, in figure four, the sensor is tripped. Then now it shows that the EO3 is now in that block. Now it's ready to go to the next uh, destination. And then now, as we see, it goes, the switch is thrown. The, uh, in figure five, it shows that that sensor is tripped, which is, which is the end sensor for the block three. And it shows that the EO3 is now entering in. Now we look at figure six, it's triggered the block, and now it knows that EO3 is now in uh, block three, and then it will clear out block uh, one, and block one will go to white, indicating that there's uh, it's unoccupied. So now as we continue on, we look at uh, figure seven, and as figure seven starts, then uh, the EO3 will then uh, transverse over. It'll trip the block or the sensor for block four. And then uh, as it continues on, it will then turn that blue. And then when it triggers this uh, end sensor for block four, it will then turn red. So now this is just one loop and one, uh, uh, one lap that the uh, locomotive will take. And now this is kind of like a basic breakdown of what uh, what goes on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back to uh, Rock Rail, and then we're going to simulate this, uh, uh, this movement. And now we're gonna see it real time. So remember that the loco is uh, set up for the auto mode and it's uh, the automation. So what we'll have to do is manually click uh, each of the sensors to trigger an event. Uh, whereas in real life, the uh, locomotive will be running over the sensor and triggering the event. So let's jump back to the rock rail and the wiki demo.